Welcome back friends, this is Sonia here and today I am back with another ceramic pot. Yeah, this is a beautiful blue color ceramic pot but I wanted to try decoupage on uh, colored ceramic pots because every time getting white color is not possible and you get varieties of colors and designs and shapes in these uh, ceramic pots. So I thought why not to try uh, these pots this time and fingers crossed I really really hope that this works out. Now to start with first I need to trim down my decoupage paper so I have chosen this beautiful uh, beautiful design paper and I absolutely absolutely love this one so I'm thinking that I'm going to keep uh, this complete patch on my pot now for that I think I will be needing let me just have it let me see that how much paper I will uh, need because in the bottom it is going to get all the uh, roughy edge uh, the design pattern so here I think yeah so let me just or can I have it like this so that at the bottom I just have the plain surface but I'm not sure how these butterflies are going to look shall I have this pattern no my butterflies are going upside down no I think I will have to go with this or should I check some other design because I'm really getting confused now and I, okay let me let 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 me try this one out this is really beautiful and yeah I think I'll go for this one let me try with this pattern here so what I will be doing is I will trim down this much portion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it along this black line I loved 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 this decoupage napkin of course I am uh, nowadays getting all the extra sheets of napkin so that I can if you are interested in mine you can get it because uh, I don't have any one particular uh, place from where I buy it I mostly buy it from Amazon and few other websites but it's always like when I get something really beautiful I just buy them it's not that I need it then I go search for it and purchase it so trust me I have a very 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 big box of uh, decoupage napkin so one box is already packed and I let me just show you I still have these many napkins but I don't have a box to keep it because all my box are filled up with some of the other craft supplies and uh, my decoupage napkin box does not have any space to keep it so yeah now that is getting really difficult for me to save up all the stuff but I hope I will be able to figure it out really soon okay now what I'm realizing is that uh, my designs are going to be till this much only so still I'll keep some buffer and I will or let me not trim this down let me uh, just first finish the sticking work and then move on to the next step now before that I need to remove the ply so this is one ply and now this is the second ply now this is getting a little difficult for me to remove the plies let me uh, yeah so as you know that usually whenever we do decoupage uh, we do white color base but here I did not want it to color up this base I wanted to use it as it is and I'm not sure that how it is going to turn out so that's a huge experiment for me 
but I wanted to do it that way. So let's see. Let's just see that how it works out. So here is my matte finish Mod Podge, and what I'm going to do is I will start applying my Mod Podge. Now here I'm going to apply my Mod Podge on my complete pot at in one go, and then I will stick my napkin. Now why I'm doing it this way? I'll tell you the reason because what happens is I have realized that whenever I do it like in a patch way especially with these circular kind of uh, pots or any bases it becomes really tricky to again apply the Mod Podge and uh, then uh, stick your napkin so just to avoid that I am trying to just make sure that uh, I don't end up having any mess on my table. I don't end up having too much of Mod Podge on my napkins. And for that, I will have to work a little quick here. Now in my napkin, as you can, uh, as you have seen that I have a nice, a oh, very, very, very nice uh, pattern the building design and that's the reason I have decided that I'm going to start from the top area so I'm just taking on two three flat brushes okay so I am starting from let me start from this corner so I will start from here and I just need to make sure that I keep um, this area this line straight okay so I will be starting with this portion and very gently with my brush I will stick this now you have to be really 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 careful here okay now on the top area now as you will stick your napkin you will be able to realize that um all your marks and your napkins are just fading away now see here i did some mistake with my sticking but no worries i will try to smudge this one let's see let me see how it works out so let me pull up this paper stretch it out on the sides and here i just want to make sure that I do not overdo my designs on the bot on the top part because I do not want to trim down my papers here. So I'm just stretching this a bit. And yeah, this is good. So I'm not cutting off any of my buildings actually, and I'm more happy about that. So now I need to cut it and let me let me see that how nicely i can trim this but before that i think i should stick this portion so that my adhesive does not dries out so yeah here i'm stretching it wow this is looking good oops Maybe I overdid the stretching work here and I'm just pulling down my napkin very smoothly now because now I've become conscious that I don't want to ruin my paper of course and now I will have to trim this part. So I'll just take an approx size and I will trim this up. So I know that approximately 4-5 mm is the space which is going to be left behind. So now I will be sticking it here now. I can see a big, big, big mistake what I have done. That in the bottom I have left more uh, napkin and then on the top I did not leave much of napkin. Now let us see. Now like I always say that we all learn from our mistakes. I'm also learning so let's see let me trim out this area because that's a white patch so I want to cover 
that is it sufficient no this is not this is not let me take up this big patch of paper and stick it here i hope that this will cover up the em empty space of my oh yes it is it is covering up and this looks good this looks quite good to me and now let me just stick everyone nicely with my sponge dauber so what i'm going to do is now this bottom area my pot area is wet so i cannot do too much of sticking work there so i'm just pressing it with my sponge dauber and i'm trying to make sure that i'm leaving out all the wrinkles from this if you are comfortable with plastic sheets you can definitely take that also but i'm more comfortable with my uh, sponge dauber so that's the reason i'm pressing it with my sponge dauber here okay so i think i'm done and now i'll just let it dry for some time and then we'll move on to the next step okay so my major area has dried out and it's time to trim down the excessive paper and here i'm using my nail filer which i regularly use to trim down the excessive paper from my decoupage bases and the same technique you have to do it on the reverse way like you start from this area uh your base and take it to the outside uh surface and it will be really easy for you to remove the napkin now here you can see that my napkin actually came out because it was too um it was really really difficult for me to take down the napkin okay now this was really really easy and smooth but some of the areas are still wet i can make it out now i will trim down the napkin from the upper side what i'll be doing is i will just take up my filer and i'll run it very smoothly because i if over run this i just have this feeling that i might see the actual base color the natural ceramic color which i don't want and of course i don't want any of the rough patches on the top so very 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 smoothly i am trimming down the napkin here I always find this uh, trimming part really uh, uh, something which is just simple. You do it, do it. You don't have to use your brains too much, and it is really satisfying to see that how your project is turning up and how the finishes are coming up, and that is something which I really, really, really like. so here i am done and i'm actually very proud of myself the way it has turned out but now i need to use my mod podge to seal this completely but can you really see that how beautiful this looks this is looking really amazing i just have this feeling that i need to press it a little more from the top parts on some of the areas 
I can just see some bubbles, just a tinge of bubbles or the wrinkles and I fit press it now it is just going to sink in very nicely to my base but you have to be careful that you can't overdo this for sure Okay, so now this is done and I need to use my Mod Podge again here. So again with a flat brush, I am going to have my one layer of Mod Podge on my complete base. Now when I'm doing my Mod Podge, the second layer, I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to stick up all the edges which are, which just got left because of the... Uh, bottom area the fine uh, niche area of the part and that is my priority here to make sure that it sticks really really well and whenever you are applying a layer of mod podge on your uh, decoupage surface like if you have not done anything else before that you just need to make, make sure that you don't overdo the brushing part that is going to tear apart your decoupage napkin so you have to be really, really, really careful about it. This is really looking great. And if you do it with the, just the perfect uh, measure, you will realize that you can actually have a uh, remove the wrinkles when you are doing the second this layer of mod podge and this will help of course in sticking it well to your base and removing all the bubbles and wrinkles out there okay so this is done and trust me i'm very impressed with my work I know I'm always very much impressed with my work only but no I like others works also I always appreciate when I see something really really good but I'm I'm uh, really uh, happy with the fact that I keep on trying new things and I really love it and this is looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous now let's uh, now here in this one I did a pattern with uh, the buildings the straight lines and now I just wanted to see that uh